women's cross country captain Lucy Ortiz. But first, a quick look back at the weekend in Washington and Lee Athletics. Men's cross country placed four runners in the top seven to win the inaugural John Tucker Invitational here in Lexington. The Generals placed second in the women's meet. Volleyball went 3-0 at the Bridgewater Invitational, collecting victories over Gallaudet, North Carolina Wesleyan, and Averitt. Men's soccer opened up ODAC play with a 2-1 road loss to Guilford, while the women's team scored a 7-0 home win over Easter Mennonite in its first conference game. Football saw a late rally fall short in a 21-19 loss at Sewanee, while field hockey dropped a 2-0 decision at home to McDaniel. I'm joined now by field hockey coach Wendy Orison. Wendy, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Despite the loss to the Green Terror over the weekend, the Generals are off to a very good start in 2014. What's contributing to the good results on the field? Uh, well, we're focusing on two things. Um, on the field, we're really spending a little bit more time on um, skills as opposed to overall tactics. We've been spending a lot of time on just driving the ball and good 1v1 defense, good 1v1 offense, um, just making sure that we have the skills to execute the bigger tactical plan. And then off the field, we're um, a little more fit this year. The women all had to do a fitness program this summer that was a little bit more demanding than we've had in the past, and I think we are seeing the benefits of that. Um, and we're also working together as a team to hold ourselves a little bit more accountable for um, what we bring to the team. And instead of pointing fingers or worrying about what we can't control, we're working on what we can control. And that's our abilities, our attitude, and our fitness level. Your team took an early season road trip through Kentucky and Tennessee. You played four games in five days. You won three of them. Outside of the results, how can that trip benefit your team in the long run? Well, it was a fantastic trip. One, at least a great team bonding. We went to the Civil Rights Museum and we did a tour of St. Jude's Children's Hospital while we were there. So it just some really quality learning time for the team and bonding time for the team. So that's always wonderful to go into your season. Um, but it also means that now for the rest of the year, we don't have an overnight the entire academic year. Um, our schedule is a little bit more paced. So we have, uh, for example, last week just one game and after this we have two games this week, but then next week again just one game. So it makes it a little bit more nicely paced um, at this tough academic school that, that speaks volumes. It's great. Looking ahead to November, Washington and Lee is hosting the Division Three Field Hockey Championship for the second time and the first since uh, 2005. Mm -hmm. What does that opportunity mean to the WNL program? Uh, it's just a wonderful chance for our women to um, be around the best four teams at the Division Three level of field hockey. Um, They've all been asked to spend time here in Lexington that weekend and we'll be ball runners or sell tickets. We'll do anything we can to make sure that we um, host the, the championship in the manner that we know how well to do here at WNO. The Generals face eight-time defending ODAC champion Lynchburg on the road tonight. A win would obviously be huge for your team, but a loss doesn't mean the end of the season. How do you approach such a big conference game so early in the year? You know, just the same way we do any other game, Jeremy. And so Coach Kale and I spend a lot of time uh, getting scouts from other coaches. We watch game tape. We try to break down. We look at the strengths and weaknesses of the team that we're playing. And we try to um, prepare our team the best that we can. So we, we know what their weaknesses are. And we're going to try to um, find them and execute, um, go against those weaknesses in the way that's going to bring us a win this afternoon. Wendy, thanks for joining us. Best of luck throughout the year. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. I'm joined now by Holly Beasley, senior soccer captain from Virginia Beach. Holly, welcome back to the show. Thank you. The Generals beat Easter Midnight 7-0 on Saturday. You scored four goals in the first five minutes of the second half. You've had a few lopsided victories during your time with the program, but have you seen anything quite like that before? It's funny because in previous seasons I haven't really seen anything quite like that, but actually in our game against Greensboro the weekend before, it was a very similar situation. We were up 1-0 at halftime and then right when the second half started we scored two goals in the first two and a half minutes. Um, and then it was very similar, the floodgates just opened and we kind of sealed the deal with that one as well. So. Um, it's really cool to see that both times when I mean, we sat down at halftime and kind of talked about this isn't what we want to be happening and kind of what we needed to get done. So it was cool to see us, you know, go out and get it done. What would be really cool is if we could find a way to make that happen in the first few minutes of a first half of a game in the future. You've totaled 25 goals in your career. The team hasn't had to rely on your scoring so far this season. You do have four assists. You've been a big part of the offense. But how exciting has it been to watch some of the younger players step up on attack? It's been awesome. We've had, I think, 10 players now score goals in just our first four games, which is really exciting because it makes us as a team hard to beat because if you want to stop us from scoring, you have to defend all of us. You can't just defend one or two of us. Our freshman class has been really awesome. They've contributed a lot. They really 
came right on in, hopped right on board, and our sophomore class as well has made huge contributions. They've individually and as a group made huge improvements since last fall and last spring, so they've also contributed a lot to our success in the beginning of this season. You're part of a six-player senior class that has made big contributions to the program for four years now. What makes it so special for you to play along with those other seniors? It's awesome. There's really nothing better than getting to go play soccer every day and win some games with your best friends. We're a really tight-knit group and it's funny, we, we're just a really passionate group. We love soccer. I think we probably annoy our other friends because we talk about soccer more than I think they really want to hear. But it's really fun to get to share passions with your friends like that and kind of work so hard towards something with a group of people. And that really goes out to our whole team and our coaches too. It's just a really cool experience when we're all pouring everything we have into achieving these goals we have and getting those wins and ultimately we will achieve those goals but the experience of getting to work hard every day with people like that is a really special experience and it's something I would never trade. I know an ODAC championship is at the top of the list of those goals. What do the generals need to do to make that happen in 2014? It's definitely at the top of top of our list of goals. Um, first, I would say we need to make sure we find a way to score, score some goals. In the past, we've ha um, been a really strong defensive team and we, our challenge has been sometimes figuring out a way to get that ball in the net in those bigger games against the harder teams, but I have a lot of confidence in our team that we can do that this year, especially after seeing how many players we have who are able to score goals. And also it really comes down to just taking it one step at a time and using every day to get better. And so not just games, but practices too. We have a lot of depth on our team and a lot of really strong players. And so the opportunity to play against so many good players every day in practice is something that not all teams in the ODAC have. So just taking advantage of every day in practice, getting better each day and kind of keeping that mentality and the confidence and the expectations of ourselves so that for every single game, so that when we do reach that final game, it's not like we need some crazy miracle to happen. We just do what we've been doing every day and kind of get better with each day. Holly, thanks for joining us here. Best of luck throughout the season. Thank you. Thank you for having me. With me now is Lucy Ortiz, senior cross-country captain from Ketchikan, Alaska. Lucy, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to be here. So far this fall, the Generals have placed fourth at Sewanee. You finished second in your home John Tucker Invitational over the weekend. How pleased have you been with the start of the season under a new head coach? It's been, we've been very pleased with it. It's been a smooth transition. Uh, we've been mixing up a little things, some things here and there with our workouts and some runs that we've been going on, but I think it's been going pretty well. Um, we've been pretty successful, even though we haven't had our full team running. I think that's in a large part to two of our first years. Uh, Rachel Steffen and Lily Arnold have been contributing a lot, and our sophomore, Alana Babington, one of our sophomores, has had a really great start to the season. So I think that's been going well. Your sister, who graduated in 2013, was also a cross-country captain here. What does it mean to you to have the same leadership role that Molly had with Washington and Lee? Well, me and Molly have been pretty close throughout all of high school and college. So it was a really amazing opportunity for me to be able to run with her the first two years. Hopefully she didn't mind having her baby sister along for the ride. Uh, but it's been a big honor to follow in her footsteps as captain as well. I know my fellow captains and I have really looked up to our recent captains and hope to follow their example. and. Uh, lead the team as well as they've been able to. You only have two regular season meets between now and the ODAC championship in early November. I'm sure plenty of training sessions in between now and then as well, but how much emphasis will be placed on the races at Salisbury and Gettysburg? Well, Salisbury, I know our team is really looking forward to. It's going to be a great opportunity to just get out there and run fast. Uh, we are going to have almost a full team with us. So that'll be good. And it's going to be coming off an off weekend. A, B, it's a really flat course, so we're just going to get out there and run fast. It's going to be fun. Uh, as far as Gettysburg goes, we're going to be in more of a training period leading up to ODAC, so that'll be a little bit harder to run fast at, but it'll be a great opportunity to start off ODAC well. What are the general's expectations for 2014? Um, I think that Bridgewater and EMU both have really strong teams. But right now we have a great first year class and our um, upperclassmen will be joining us soon once they're all healthy. And I think we have a great opportunity to um, be competitive at ODAX and hopefully at regionals as well. Lucy, thanks for joining us. Good luck throughout the year. Thank you. It's time now for a look at the upcoming weekend. Volleyball will play host to three matches in the Warner Center, starting with a contest against Easter Midnight on Friday. The Generals face fellow ODAC rival Bridgewater at noon on Saturday, followed by a non-conference tilt against St. Mary's. 
Also on a busy Young Alumni Weekend Saturday, there's a soccer doubleheader at Watt Field. The women's team takes on Guilford, followed by a men's matchup against Virginia Wesleyan. Field hockey will meet St. Mary's, and the football team's home opener against Sitter kicks off at 7. Elsewhere, women's tennis will compete in the ITA Southeast Regional Championships at Mary Washington. Women's golf travels to Conover, North Carolina for the ODAC Fall Preview, while men's golf opens up the fall season in Greensboro at the Tournament Town NCAA Championship Preview Tournament. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.